What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to play some Judgment. Quick update, as you can see, dropped all the way down to number 6 on my alt account. That's because I just lost about 30 rating to one guy. I played uh, against an end of reason draw deck of a 1600 rated player, and I don't think I played it that well early on. I think I could have done better and won it, but made some mistakes, so I lost about 30 rating. Um, yeah, so now we're behind Empire Backlash. It came out of nowhere. He flew up the rankings and Blinky. But we're still in first on our main. So I'll try to get that, this alt account back up. But today we're going to do some judgment. Been doing a lot of judgment. I'm doing judgment on my alt account right now. Because, uh, I don't really know. Alright, whatever. Uh, so pretty bad stuff here. I don't see any. There's not one creature in my first three rows. Wow. That's not a good start. No creatures in my first three rows. Um, I have no idea what to go with. Maybe I should just go for the memorials because... I don't know. Uh... I guess I could take the, um, well, no use in just sitting here, I guess Clock Library is the best thing in all of these cards. It's not like I'm going to take Metal Heart, I'll probably take Incendiaries, Clock Library, and this Horn of Ages, I don't know. Alright, there's this creature, a nice creature. I'll take the Incendiaries, alright, now we're getting some order, I think. Get, go for growth. Um, probably should just take the clock library though. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the clock library. Now I will take the royal spearman, the royal skirmisher. I know it's curse monger, but I don't see other decay stuff besides mangy rat. Don't see order either, but there is a focus. Um, there is a soul steel there. I'll take the focus. Two focuses are cool. Take the new orders. No, I'll take the dust runner actually. Dust runner. Scott, I didn't get any like real growth before that. Soul Steel? I don't know. Quake God Hand. We just had some some growth to go with that. Focus. Quake God Hand is so attractive here. I'm gonna take the God Hand in case we get a lot of growth. Let's see, base is cool, so some giant spark quake. I'll actually take the spark. Great Wolf, hmm. Ranger Great Wolf, I have a God Hand too, Psalm Giant, I think I take the Kabonk over the Psalm Giant, ah, this is hard, tough, tough choices, man, Blessing Haste, ah, there's a, alright, Great Wolf, Dust Runner, Veteran, Obelisk, Fine Eager Scryer, Hmm, so hard to choose. Take Sister the Bear, Kindle Veteran's Gutter. I definitely should have taken the Quake and that Rally before, but how would I know? that it would look more like growth later on. Um, untainted, I guess. Crown of Strength. Oh yeah, Vet, Sister of the Bear, Sister of the Owl, and now do I take the Mangy for the Great Wolf? Or do I take Sister of the Fox? I think I'll take the Sister of the Fox. 
Huh, okay. Um, crossbowman. Pother will be nice to splash in. I have eagle. This gives me growth, that's nice. Come on, load. We have a rat king there, which is awesome. This gives me order. I'll take this royal skirmisher. Rat king. That. Totem. We could have had a quake. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, this, now it's nice. We got Mangy Wolf for the Great Wolf. We have a Ragged Wolf to pair with the Great Wolf. Now a Focus. Duke Infantryman. Or Boil. You. I think we're getting enough growth, so I think we could take the Ranger. Sister the Fox. And the Frost Gale over the Clock. Okay, so I think uh, we turned a bad deck into an, a good deck. Okay. in all this stuff pretty good just order how far are we going order eight for growth a lot plus him haste is cool uh, we're gonna have to go to like actually with three focuses cross open horn of ages you. All right, we can go just to two order, which is nice. Okay, thirteen creatures is not a lot, but we have a fourteen beast with five eagle. So, uh, growth order, and let's see if we can win game one. Come on, come on, judgment. Be my friend and find a match right now. All right. So. Uh, I guess I could take this time to uh, talk about what just came out. So on the um, on scrolls.com, post was made and they announced OJ announced that Rebellion will be coming out on the live server um, on Tuesday. So that is absolutely awesome. Um, everything from the new scrolls, some new things like Mulligan on the testing grounds. Uh, some cool tier 3 rewards is coming out so you could read that for the full rundown and we're in a match Kalen Monster Geo. so let's see if I could keep my nice judgment streak running with this deck if you didn't know uh, I've like my four of my last five judgment runs are like five of five so I'm trying to keep that streak alive Doing very well in judgment lately, and this is a pretty good deck, I think. Yes, if we had a rally and a quake, that'd be better. But even without the rally and the quake, I think we're still pretty good. I think I also passed up on a crimson bull before. Okay, uh, I'll sack the mangy, and now I guess ranger, then rat king, then veteran. That's what it looks like right now. Maybe get a stone pack memorial in that mix. I don't know. Okay, magnetizer, not a big deal. Fine, you'll block my sister the fox from attacking. Let me sack the stone pack now. Because I like that totem. And fine. Stop my sister of the fox from attacking. Magnetizers are actually really annoying. <laughs> I feel like they should be one drops, not two drops though. They're pretty bad. I mean, if you buff them, that's awesome, but all right, he doesn't get to play anything, cool. Now we'll play the Rat King. Now I'm gonna put the Rat King in front because I want that sister to survive. Because we could Ancestor Totem, which will have two attack, which could kill the Magnetizer. And then I'll be able to put three damage on the idol. Or maybe he'll put other stuff down, so we'll see. Or we could just better next turn. We got loads of options. 
hopefully I get like some some order thing come up so I can sack that because I want to keep the totem man the better it'd be best if we don't have to use a veteran next turn if we just play the totem and kill stuff but we have the option okay so tough call we can clear his board if we sack the veteran for order and then play the totem and focus on the on the uh, other thing okay I'm not gonna do the veteran or the focus this turn cool I think I'll just play the sister of the bear yeah it's sister of the bear time so now I have a veteran for next turn or a totem maybe I should have gotten the totem down this turn not the bear sister of the bear I don't know so we're probably gonna sack the frost scale next turn for resources to play the veteran or for cards if we're gonna play the totem or maybe we'll draw something like Great Wolf, and maybe it's a better option to play that. We'll see where it takes us. Um, so, pretty even in card advantage and resource advantage. I guess he's a little more than me, but I have massive board control, so. He's, that guy's relentless. He has that Ducal Skirmisher, so get a focus or something on him, and he can wipe through me. So I hope he doesn't do that. Probably shouldn't have lined up on guys like that. Maybe he's busting pace and he's going to kill those two guys. That's going to be annoying. Sorry, that's the phone ringing. It's not your phone. Don't look behind you. <laughs> okay, goes for energy. Dust Runner, and that's it. Hmm. So now, yeah, a veteran wouldn't do anything for us, so I'm going to sacrifice the frost scale for cards, play the totem, separate, go like this there we go so now you could kill one thing and I can play a veteran next turn and the sister of the Jarl the next sister of the fox the next turn what if there's a sister of the Jarl like summon a summon a Jarl Urhald and two adjacent Kinfolk Jarls. That would be very strong. <laughs> so in Jarl Urhald and <laughs> two adjacent Kinfolk Jarls. That's like inspiring plus four right there. Okay, so he doesn't kill my guy attack like attacking me, so he doesn't want to be moving up to all my guys. Um kind of annoying. I kind of wish I had this guy's better place because if he was back when I could be able to better in front. So, oh well, we're just going to play the sister of the bear, I guess. We are going to sacrifice resources, though. Because. Um. We could play, so we could play Sister of the Owl next turn if, if a Kinfolk veteran is not the right option. And this we can get some Ragged Wolves. I think I have one or two in this deck. We still have two attack now with the Totem out. Yeah, so I think this is a five winner deck. These growth decks with like a lot of creatures and a god hand tend to do well. And uh, so for the next week, I'm just going to be working on getting gold and preparing for the for the rebellion to hit the live server maybe i'll do a little more testing on test server as well but we'll see 
Right now I have 120,000 gold combined with being between both of my accounts. So that's pretty good. Um, I want to get probably 150,000. And I want to kill this guy, so I think I'll sack, replace one veteran for order, and then I'll go and do this. He's like. What are you doing? Why are you moving back? Um. Okay, and now we can go Sister the Owl next turn. I already have an idol destroyed. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, so I'll be playing lots of the judgment a lot of the quick matches a lot of the ranked matches my goal of getting number one on one and two in the ladder I keep getting close but then I fall back a bit like I am right now I'm like 1887 on this account just need to concentrate and really not make any misplays when I'm growth most of my losses are just me filling up the board and being too like too cocky and then just getting quake and quaked and lose gotta be a little better with my uh, board management like saving cards in my hand and not playing them yet okay but I'm doing well in judgments that's nice and speed on that guy to kill that fine if he really wants to do that uh, goodbye sister the fox do I kill the dust runner or the crosswoman Hmm. Or do I just put damage on an idol? Believe it or not, I think it's gonna be better to kill the uh, dust runner. Not a big deal though. And just put you right in there, I guess. Sure. So, uh, already thinking about what rares I'll, the three rares I'll take from this five win judgment. Probably Sister of the Owl, God Hand, I would have had a Quake, so I guess maybe Great Wolf, I'm not sure what other rares were in this. Okay, goodbye Owl. And what is he gonna play? Waking Stones. It's actually the one thing that could probably stop me from hurting these guys there. Ah, Great Wolf is good. I don't want to sack it. Oh well. Focus, focus. Mm. I can only play one focus this turn. One, two, three, four, five. Seven plus. I think I'm gonna actually focus here just to get more damage in. And why, you ask? I have no clue. Just what I wanna do, okay? I'll hide you guys in the corner. So I focus play next turn. And probably we could probably win next turn. Next round ten win. Unless he has like another waking stones. GG. We don't even need to use a focus. Alright. Yeah, GG. Okay, so I'll be playing Judgment, I'll be playing Ranked, I'll be doing lots of the gold getting activities and scrolls, preparing for the Rebellion release, which I am so excited for, it's going to be awesome. So thanks for watching everybody, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want more content like this, and I'll see you all next time. Keep up.